Now, here is a staggering statistic for you to conjure with. As many as half a million people a year are killed by guns. And there are nearly one billion guns in circulation across the world. Almost 12 billion bullets are produced every year. That's around two bullets per person. Now these are the latest figures to come from a new book, Gun Baby Gun, by investigative journalist and author Ian Overton. And he joins me in the GMT studio now. He's traveled to 25 countries looking at our relationship with guns and the impact that the gun has had throughout the world. Let me just ask you a basic question. Are you, as a result of all the travels, all the research, anti-gun? I'm pro-gun control and I'm pro-international legislation to ensure that guns don't end up in the wrong hands. I can see a virtue in national self-defense for guns, and I think that many people enjoy guns for uh, hobbies and for hunting. Um, but the thing is, the, the people who do enjoy those guns vehemently uh, support their, their right to own those guns, what they don't see is the wider picture. And my book was an attempt to show that one gun might be um, used by a hunter, but the same gun could be used by an assassin. Now, you, you, you did travel widely for this. Are there some places you would point us to to say, you know, gun culture and the impact of the gun is right now having an extraordinarily damaging impact upon a whole country, a whole society? Well, in the last 10 years in Central America, homicides have doubled. And within that area, uh, Honduras stands out as being an epicenter of gun violence. It has the highest murder rate in the world, doesn't it? One particular place, San Pedro Sula, around 173 per 100,000 people are killed every year there. Compare that to the U.S., where everyone talks about gun violence, that's only around 5.5% people per hundred thousand. So San Pedro Sula is effectively a war which nobody is covering. But if, uh, is your premise that if you took away the guns, if you could some, somehow take away the weapons that are in circulation in a place like San Pedro Sula, that the, the city would suddenly be peaceful and harmonious? Well certainly where there are many guns, there are many gun deaths. Pandora's box, well, not, though. not true, though, is it? Because, I mean, Switzerland, pretty much everybody, every household is supposed to or is entitled to hold a gun in Switzerland for reasons going back to old militias. And the Swiss aren't shooting each other up Well, every actually, day. Switzerland has the highest gun homicide rate in Europe. So, so nothing like nothing like the figures you're using from Latin America? No, or... nothing like that. But there is very strict gun control in Switzerland. And when the Swiss government reduced the circulation of guns, there was a corresponding massive re reduction in the number of suicides. So it's not just um, uh, shootings that I'm concerned about. It's also a huge number of suicides. 20,000 people shoot themselves every year in the United States. Well, you talk about the U.S. I suspect uh, an American gun lover would listen to what you're saying and, and say, this guy just doesn't get it. He doesn't realize that that guns are a part of our culture, our history, our constitutional right, and also that, as the NRA always says, it's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. My book really isn't a debate about the Second Amendment within the United States. I don't think it's my right to make that sort of overview judgment. However, I am very concerned how the Second Amend Amendment has caused the circulation of guns around the world. The U.S. military, for instance, or the U.S. Um, government, heavily armed uh, the Iraqis and the Afghanis. And those guns, um, huge numbers, have been mislaid and probably have ended up in the hands of ISIS and Al-Qaeda. There's a huge well, Would you spread. say that the America, you know, America is actually more responsible than any other nation for the global circulation of, of guns today? Absolutely, I, and particularly in terms of violent responses. The, the number of guns that you're seeing that are U.S. produced or have gone via the U.S., ending up in Central America, which is the epicenter mm. of gun violence, is um, around 80 to 90 percent. Huge numbers of guns are used in, the, in that area that are U.S.-based or, or, or of origin. Sadly, Ian, we have to end there. There's lots more I would love to discuss with you, but the book is Gun, Baby, Gun, and thank you very much for joining us in the GMT studio. Thank, thank you. you.